hello friends I hope you all are fine so I would like to welcome this course which is Linux in a nutshell myself is Sergio Riaz and uh, here I am I will be instruct you that uh, how we are go, uh, we can use Linux what is Linux and the components of Linux uh, why we should uh, learn Linux uh, and uh, much more things so just get into this course so first of all we have the agenda uh, today we are going to discuss about uh, what is Linux and um, what is kernel the Linux is shows the architecture and what is the shell and the file system of Linux so basically this is the first part of this uh, video series which is based on Linux in this video we are going to discuss about the theoretical topic about the Linux uh, such as Linux kernel destroys architecture shell and file system so just start with the first one which is the Linux so what the first word comes in your mind you, and you think about Linux basically Linux is an operating system so what is an operating system uh, operating uh, uh, operating system is a, a software it is a system software which um, manage the hardware resources uh, and uh, it is a system software which is uh, manage the hardware resources for a computer for a device uh, like uh, we have windows we have uh, mac macintosh and uh, if we, we are using mobile we have android android is it is uh, also a operating system so uh, operating system is a software which uh, uh, utilize or manage the hardware resources and all the resources stuff okay so uh, why should we use Linux okay as we talk about uh, the Windows and the Macintosh so what is the main reason of using the Linux what because uh, here's the reason that is written here the open source uh, open source is a term in programming world in IT world where uh, things are um, uh, in front of world okay so if you are a developer if you know the coding stuff you can contribute as well in uh, Linux uh, the code is not hidden to you code is quite visible to you uh, so and the other word is that the uh, Linux is completely free suppose uh, you want to use Windows you want to use Macintosh you have to buy the license first okay uh, it is a legal way uh, that you show you have to buy a license so uh, if you are a Linux user you do not need to buy any license for using the basic uh, distros of Linux like Debian best okay uh, as we go further we will get know that uh, how many distros are there some of, uh, some of them are um, um, commercial based some, was, uh, some of them are the free based so as we go along this course we will discuss this but now the open source mean that the court is um, in front of you you can just modify the code you can make your own distro and the other one is the community so uh, Linux is a, as I talked to you Linux is free so how we can say that the Linux is a good operating system it is free because we are not paying for that nobody is paying for uh, Linux okay so Linux is community based not only a developers not only uh, organization a lot of person are contributing for betterment of Linux because uh, they got a free thing from the community and now they are the part of the community and they are serving uh, community for contributing Linux uh, Linux uh, operations and Linux uh, stuff Linux features so community is uh, playing a major impact in Linux world look who is the community is in the community I'm if I'm using Linux I'm in community and I know the coding stuff I can contribute as well as in the Linux okay so Linux was originally uh, invented by the man whose name is Linus Todwards uh, in 1990s uh, Linus was a student uh, he saw he was working on the project uh, on the Unix and uh, at that time not at that time but uh, today Linux is uh, Unix is a paid version okay uh, Linux drive from Unix and Unix basically an operating system which is used for supercomputing as well and uh, it is quite expensive you cannot buy Unix if you are an individual user okay it is a very powerful operating system and um, Linux stored was thought that we should uh, people cannot buy the Unix uh, license a uh, Unix licensing because it's too much expensive so why 
I should not develop a operating system, develop a, a platform where things quite much similar to the Unix. So that's why he made the Linux, which is quite similar to the Unix. Unix is a uh, another operating system, but Linux drive from the Unix okay so let's go further so like we have an in Linux we have a lot of distros some distros are um, so just uh, let let me know you that what is distro distro is nothing but a flavor like I'm a coffee lover and uh, I would like to have a cappuccino so um, uh, cappuccino is a flavor of coffee black coffee is uh, another flavor of uh, coffee if you if uh, you are a coffee lover then you will also get to know that the uh, coffee com comes from uh, many flavors okay so uh, in Linux Linux is also uh, has uh, ma many flavors uh, flavors like um, red base uh, red hat best flavors which is uh, Kali Linux and Fedora so in the Debian best we have uh, Linux Mint we have the Ubuntu the famous Ubuntu okay and um, so, uh, okay let me know you that the some distros not some mostly distros are free okay if you are using the Linux distros that are completely free but uh, some are the commercial bit like open Swiss here beneath this here uh, beneath this op elementary voice open use mostly use I, I have seen this operating system in bank in Pakistan mostly the banks uh, banks are using this uh, uh, commercial based Linux distro so here uh, there are there are the distros of Linux and uh, I would highly recommend you if you are a complete beginner so you should start from Ubuntu and um, if you want to learn ethical skill ethical hacking skills there is a uh, another distro of Kali Linux uh, which is re re red hat based uh, distro you can also use it okay so the other component is we are going to look at about the kernel so kernel is a core component of a system which um, make a bridge of operating system and the hardware okay so how does it mean to make a bridge so uh, like uh, if we want to uh, if we give any instruction to the computer by operating system it goes to the kernel and kernel is the lowest level of operating system which means it is near to the hardware does it make it sense okay I hope it makes sense so a thing which is near to the hardware that's mean that um, uh, it is the lowest part okay it communicate with the hardware through uh, com it communicate uh, operating system to the hardware so kernel is a core component of a operating system like I'm just tapping this uh, I'm just pressing this up arrow key and this uh, down uh, down arrow key the instructions goes to the kernel the kernel for uh, forward to the hardware that uh, should uh, it should uh, down it should be up so kernel is a core component of a operating system okay so let's go further like we have a Linux architecture in Linux we have a two mode which is the user mode and the kernel mode so first mode here we use the uh, user space okay the user space has the uh, user application in GNU C library okay if I make any call it will go to the system interface call so what is the system interface call like I'm just pressing this uh, mm, down arrow keys so it is the system call whatever I give to the instruction it is a system call and system calls forward to kernel and kernel further proceed to the hardware platform okay so it is a co co completely uh, Linux uh, architecture I hope it will make sense to you so let's go further so now we are going to about the sh uh, learn about the shell so what is the shell shell is a nothing but an interface where we can put some commands where we put some instructions where we put uh, some kind of uh, in instructions and it will be executed and shows the output okay like uh, for we have uh, two type of mode the one is GUI the other one is CLI GUI means that the graphical user interface uh, means that we have some components here like uh, icons and just we can double press and the icon, icon pop up so it is the uh, GUI based we don't know the what going into the backup backend and uh, we just uh, we just using the our easiness our ease for uh, GUI but things goes uh, similar to the CLI but CLI is a very pretty much faster than the GUI because CLI is near to the kernel and kernel is near to the hardware so that means that if I want to copy some stuff like one source to the destination it will took five minutes but uh, using the command line or CLI it 
hardly took three to two minutes because it's near to the kernel and kernel near to the hardware so does it make any sense i hope it make okay so here i show you what is the kernel so i'm using the linux ubuntu okay 18.04 uh, this is my uh, this is called the kernel also this, this is called the terminal as well as the shell and the, the windows world it is known as the cmd if you are using the uh, windows and uh, in windows it uh, the same comes from the shell or CMD okay so here I'm going to type a command which is uptime not a capital small letters because the Linux is a case sensitive okay I just press enter so it will show me to the uptime of my system that the system is up in 15 minute okay and uh, the wor one user is logged in and the average load some blah blah stuff I can make uh, I can do all the thing which I can use in a graphical user where I can copy here I can paste here I can do all the stuff uh, for this purpose for command line we have a separate video for it uh, because it will be complicated in this video we are going to just learn about the theoretical part and the next videos the upcoming videos we are going to learn about the command line interface how we can use the various commands like uh, some basic command and some shell scripting command as well as the um, administrator command as well as the security command okay so I hope it makes sense to you and the shell is completed shell is nothing but an interface like I told you uh, and uh, here's the last one which is the file system now what is a file system okay uh, if you are using windows in windows come from partitions like the C partition like the D partition so on and so forth okay but in a Linux world all the stuff start from a one directory which is called as the parent directory which is I, w I would like to call it uh, grandparent of all directory because all directories start afterwards this directory okay the root directory this is a symbol of the forward slash is a, is a root and uh, uh, all directory come after this directory afterwards this directory like we have bin directory which is used for command binaries we have boot for bootloader we have dev for a device file we have etc we have home for home directory and uh, lib for shared libraries so and so forth but if in linux world you have a different kind of partition uh, but it will comes to one directory okay the that is the parent directory all directory must start after this directory okay so the parent directory of all directory is the root directory okay not like the windows unlike the windows windows have the, the, um, the um, uh, partition types of directory but linux all directories goes into the one single directory which is the parent directory of all directory i, I hope it makes sense to you so friends it is the uh, end of our theoretical part and the next part will be on the command line interfaces so till there uh, uh, as we discuss this uh, video uh, if you have uh, any confusion about this theoretical stuff please let me know in your comments uh, if you have uh, any kind of suggestion please let me know in your in the comments I will highly appreciate your comments I will highly appreciate your question so keep uh, sharing this video to your friends if yeah, they are want to learn Linux and um, uh, I will catch you to next video till there please take care of yourself be safe or um, may Allah bless you and um, take care Allah Hafiz